One of our favorite features is the cavity field point. Using the cavity field point that we find here, together with our other field controls, we can enter a radius, let's say 10, and place it anywhere in the viewport. I have prepared some cavity field point examples. Let's see what happens when we place cavity field points on top and on the bottom of the sphere. We find that these two simple field points create some very interesting geometry. This could be very useful if you print without supports, which is uh, a feature of ADMS. Let's see another example. Let's see what happens when we use a circle and distribute the field points using the Rhino array command. Now we have this nice distribution of dents in our mesh. And see what happens if we now combine these little dents on the outside with a cavity in the middle of that sphere. We have a tiny wall left that is still connected giving it a strong support indeed we have a hollow sphere with some dents on the outside that looks pretty cool let's take it even further and increase the center cavity field point to 25 from 20 so that we get these nice little windows uh, while still connecting all of the outside together. This is still a very strong structure. We love to play around with this feature a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.